Ms. Mock? Here. Mr. Markham? Here. Mr. Porter? Here. Mr. Sherwood? Here. Uh, we all want to stand for the pledge of allegiance. Vision and mission statement of the Austin Town Schools. The Austin Town Local School District is a united community with a proud legacy and a progressive approach to education. We provide an inspiring education that strengthens and prepares our students for unlimited future opportunities. Thank you, Mr. Porter. Um, item number five, upon the recommendation of the treasurer, approve the agenda for the December 19, 2023 Board of Education regular session. So moved. Second. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Uh, nobody signed up today for public comments on section six and move to seven. We'll get into building reports and we'll start with the high school. Mr. Sweet. All right, good evening, everybody. Merry Christmas. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the um, Fitch High School, we'd like to congratulate everybody who uh, announced their retirements in this evening's board meeting. Uh, we'd like to thank our music department for outstanding holiday concerts. If you had a chance to see those the past couple weeks, they were phenomenal this year. Uh, we'd like to congratulate our two students that are on the agenda tonight, Leah Ensign and Dominique Fitch, uh, who are graduating early uh, because they've been so uh, in our JROTC program, they are uh, early enlisting uh, and starting boot camp in January. So congratulations to those two ladies. They uh, have done a fantastic job. Uh, if you've not been in Fitch Cafeteria lately, uh, there is some construction going on in the kitchen, but out in the cafeteria part, we'd like to thank Adam Laskanik and uh, Diane Devine, our two art teachers. They created graphic murals and redid all the walls in there. It's really looking sharp. So when you get a chance, check that out. Uh, a big thanks to our PTSA. They had yesterday, Santa uh, came in and visited, gave candy canes to all the kids at lunchtime, and they're helping us sponsor a teacher breakfast uh, Thursday morning. Uh, we currently have our end of course exams, believe it or not. We're almost at the end of the first semester. The testing window opened this week and we started testing kids. We'll get government when we get back from break. Uh, we have band, choir, and rock concerts scheduled on Thursday for our kids as we get ready for Christmas break. Uh, congratulations to both our, uh, our marching band and our rock band who both participated in the Youngstown tree lighting. Um, Mr. Anthony and his rock band actually kicked it off uh, with a con little concert. They did a couple of rock songs down there. Uh, if you didn't see in the news, you will see in the news, uh, congratulations to Zosier Lewis. He's a junior. Uh, and he was selected out of over 800 applicants across the country. Four were accepted in Ohio. He is going to attend a summer eight-week boot camp where he's going to get his uh, private pilot's license. Um, so, you know, phenomenal that through our JRTC program he was able to get that. So a uh, thank you to Colonel Riley and Sergeant Marhulik. They really helped him put his paperwork and other, everything together for that. And then we are going to wrap this week up. We have our eighth annual Holiday Spirit Week. We dress up every day, a little something for Christmas. And uh, once again, just want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and thank you. Jeff. <coughs> Good evening, welcome to AMS. We would like to hold a few comments till after Mr. Jackiebeck talks because we would like to contest the toy count. Um, we're going to start with that. Uh, looking around, uh, we'd like to say great job to our music department. Uh, Mrs. Cohn and uh, Mr. Martin, who you know, had the band and choir concerts the last couple of weeks for us. A lot of work. If you would ever go into their classrooms and listen to the start of what they perform and then come out and watch the show, you got to think, how they pull this off because it is really amazing how those kids come out here and, and blossom. Um, congratulations to our spelling bee champion, eighth grader Michael Dubos. Um, did a nice job last week. Um, I think it was last week, it was two weeks ago. Yeah, 
that's how quick it goes. Um, we also like to thank our guest announcer, Mrs. Mock, and our guest uh, judges, Mr. Bokish and Dr. Reppery, for coming over. And a great job to Mrs. Jones and everyone who helped put all that together. Uh, nice performance on that on the spelling bee. And then finally, a big thank you to our PTA, who continues to go above and beyond for us. Uh, today they had a, a luncheon for the staff. Um, they also donated gift cards for uh, the Toys for Tots, Toys for Tots campaign. Uh, and they also donated a uh, ice cream socials for our outreach drive. So they're always there for us. Anything we need, they're there. And we really appreciate all the good stuff they're doing for us. Finally, we hope everyone enjoys their Christmas break. Have a safe one. Thank you. Hi everybody, first thing that I want to highlight is that the results for the third grade reading test came back and I'm more than happy to announce that not only did our third graders have a 60% passing rate, that 60% is higher than the state average. So that's a huge shout out to the third grade teachers at AIS but also a shout out to the K2 building as well for everything they've been doing with the literacy program. So we're very happy for those kids and for the staff. Jim had talked about the PTA. Generations of people in here have been going to the Santa's workshop and the PTA once again has done a great job for the K2 building and the 3-5 building being personal shoppers for all those kids. They love it. I still have memories myself. Uh, the care closet. We want to thank the counselors from both buildings, Mrs. Sheely, Mrs. Mills, Mrs. Fitzgerald, and Mrs. Senchak. Uh, when I tell you the number of families that they are helping in our community, uh, providing all kinds of things for them, it is amazing. And also through private donations, that's very helpful. One thing I want to highlight specifically for the intermediate school is a program called Falcon Friends. It's kind of like, you know, when we talk about No Child Left Behind, it's a different spin. We have a mentoring program where every month a group of kids is assigned to one adult. It's not just the teaching staff, different activities that they do with the kids to build relationships. Also, I'd like to highlight the first grade music programs that took place the past week and a half, probably about eight to 10 programs. Obviously, the families love that. And we're very grateful to the Austin Town Police Department for their support, and we welcome all the families. That's it. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> Moving on to student and staff recognition. My name is Megan Cowan. I'm the vocal music director here at AMS. Um, and I am here, and it's wonderful to hear it's such great things being said about our music department. Um, I'm here on behalf of our music department. Um, as you've heard already, we've done some amazing things uh, this year as a department. The seven of us have been out and about in the community, and I'm here to present some students, um, just a small portion of the 700 kids, grades five through 12 alone, that, your music, that our music department services every day. Um, this is a group of kiddos from grades six through 10. I was given the, I was, I was called in April um, by a friend of mine who uh, is the owner of the Smarts Art School downtown Youngstown. And she had said that Opera Western Reserve was looking to start a children's choir for their production of Carmen that was coming up. Um, and she said, I, the first person I could think of to call was you. She said, would you like to take this on? And I said, absolutely. Uh, she said, we need 20 kids. Do you think you can handle that? And I said, I teach 300 every day. I think I've got it. Um, I did an open casting call for my students. Um, and the, I have 25 who were accepted and who sang this. So we met this fall. Twice a week, we learned to sing in French. Um, I, myself, have been singing and in music for 30 years and I have never been a part of an opera. This was the first time for me. It was an amazing experience and I know these kids all were like, opera, really? But I think every single one of them will tell you that they had an amazing experience. 
Um, so we were a part of the professional production of Carmen downtown at the Dior. Uh, and the best part for me was getting to watch these kids work on stage every day with those professionals. And the first rehearsal we had with the professionals, the chorus, the actors, the orchestra director, um, the first time they sang, and the whole room went quiet, and everybody um, stood up and applauded for these kids. Uh, they, they were every bit of what we want our Austin Town kids to be. Um, and, and I'm so proud of them and happy for what they accomplished. Um, stage managers, people that worked for the opera, for Dior, would tell me all the time. I had one person say, we don't usually like working with kids, but we would, we would invite you guys back in a heartbeat. Um, so they absolutely exemplified what we want to see in our students here. And on top of that, while working on our French for Carmen, we also sang on a couple of tracks for a local rock band um, called the Apocalyptic Lovers. Their, their album is going to be out this spring. We went in, um, went to their studio in September. We laid down a couple of tracks. Um, and it's kind of a long story, but at first they were a little hesitant about having us sing with them. They weren't sure how it was going to go. And the longer we were there, the more they asked us to do. The kids got to watch an actual album being produced, um, how the songwriters work together, the musicians work together. They asked us to write. I wrote some new chords out for them, taught the kids to sing them. We learned it, we recorded it, we got all that done in an hour. So they're gonna be on, a, on an actual rock album um, come this, this summer as well. So thank you so much for having us here today and I'm so proud to be a part of this the school and this community and and to present these kids to you. Thank you. thank the Board of Education, administration, the staff, students, and especially the parents for bringing all the toys in. It was an amazing total. Uh, toys for Tots celebrated its 75th anniversary last year. And I want to also give a special thanks out to uh, Coach Steve Ward from the girls softball team and uh, uh, Becky Spaulding was also there. They brought 12 of the state championship players from last year and uh, they helped sort. I had 43 volunteers. I needed every one of them this year. And I know they had an eye opener, and I know if you talk to them, they, they all want to come back next year. So once I get them there, they're hooked for helping me out. Uh, Toys for Tots started in 1947 in L.A. The Marines saw a need for uh, needy children in Los Angeles, and they started a toy drive. It was so successful, the Marines adopted it in 1947 and assigned it to the Marine Reserves. They're up to giving out 7 million toys a year now and a total of 281 million since 1947. It's one of the largest children's charities in the world. And they collect from over 900 locations throughout the country. This year in Mahoney, this last year, in 2022, in Mahoney County in Trumbull, that's our area, 14,100 kids received toys. This year is the ninth year that Austin Town has participated, and AIS has won it six times. They, they had four in a row going into this year. But I know the board made some changes and it made some changes in the results too. Uh, Austin Town Fitch has won it once and AMS has won, have won it once. So this year, Austin Town Schools in a total collected 1,745 toys. And I'm not gonna announce the total for the winner. I'll let Sergeant Reyes do that now. Uh, Sergeant Reyes is an active duty Marine stationed at uh, Viana. They have a Marine detachment out there, and he's been my boss for two years for Toys for Thoughts. It's nice to have somebody more than one year. So Sergeant Reyes, would you do the honors? Front and center. Absolutely. Uh, so the 2023 winner as a top toy collector for Austin Town Schools with 1,370 toys is the Austin Elementary School. Wow. 
one of the most sought after plaques in the school district. <laughs> it is. I have two things for you. Here you go. This is the PTA Council's rotating trophy. And uh, let's make it official here. Okay. All right, ready? <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thanks, Ken. Go on, beating it's just my birthday today, so I'm gonna let him go. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item number nine. There's consent items upon the recommendation of the treasurer for the following items A through D by consent action. So, second. Mr. Markham. Yes. Mrs. Mock. Yes. Mr. Porter. Yes. Mr. Sherwood. Yes. Item 10, upon the recommendation of the superintendent for the following items, A through K, by consent action. Second. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Briefly, Mr. Sherwood, members of the board, as you look over these seven names, they have fulfilled a very much a hard working commitment to Lawson Town Local School District, all serving well over 25 years, either at AES, AIS, Fitch, or the district. So uh, to those seven members and employees, uh, on behalf of the Lawson Town Local School District, we want to thank them. We want to extend our appreciation towards them, and of course, we wish them the best health and happiness as they move on. Thank you very much. On the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the early graduation for the following students from Austin Town Fitch High School, class of 2024, pending the completion of all requirements as set forth the Austin Town Board of Education, as mentioned below. Second. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. <clears throat> Item 12. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, we'll approve the following contractual agreements made by and between the Austin Local School District and the following A and B. Second. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 13, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the resolution declaring transportation impractical for the following identified students for the 23 24 school year. Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 14, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, the following resolution, whereas section 3313.46 of the revised code requires boards of education to advertise for bids for a period of two weeks when they determine to make certain improvements, the cost of which will exceed $50,000, and to award a contract to the lowest responsible bidder, except in cases of urgent necessity or for the security and protection of school property. And whereas the board has been advised that the installation of upgraded security cameras at Austin Town Fitch High School will significantly enhance the safety and security of the students, faculty, and visitors, as mentioned below. So moved. Second. Mr. Markham. Yes. Mrs. Mock. Yes. Mr. Porter. 
Yes. Mr. Sherwood. Yes. Uh, you know, I just want to take a second. Uh, Mr. And Superintendent, can you describe these cameras a little bit and the significance of them? Is that a good question for you? Yeah, it is. I think someone that could answer it probably a little bit more elaborate than myself would be Mr. Swable, if you could step up. I mean, there's face recognition. We're talking 21st century now, cameras where- You know, it's very state-of-the-art. Right. It's right. immensely important to safety of our students. Right. Mr. Swable has been working literally. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of the school districts in the area have um, utilized this company, and it's the city of Las Vegas actually use, uses it all over the entire city. Uh, a lot of face recognition. For example, uh, we could type in student in a red hoodie, and it'll pull all the data from one day and give you all the clips of all the students walking throughout the building with a red hoodie. Um, you can upload from Dazzle pictures of kids and say, okay, show me every time Harold Porter was near the restroom, and it'll give uh, tracking and show everything. It also, um, the, the really one nice thing with it too, uh, it's as simple as a link we can share with the police department. We can give them unlimited access. They can just go on any device that has web service, and they can look at it, any of our cameras at any time. Um, it will also show you um, a schematic layout of the building so that if there's a situation, you can see in the map which cameras to look at. Because one of the issues we have now is, you know, there's a hundred and some cameras and just trying to figure out where and, and how they're connected and everything. This will create a, a path for you that shows the, the guy in the red hoodie went from this camera to this camera to this camera, and it pulls all those clips and puts it down so you can see all of them in sequential order. So. Um, some of the other enhancements, they, they do have, they call them environmental hazards. So if it senses a change in air vapor, su such as uh, um, vaping, <laughs> or um, if, if there's like a, a, a loud commotion, like in a bathroom or something like that, it'll sense it and it'll send all the administrators a text to say, bathroom boys on the first floor, you might want to go check it out. And, and we can either look immediately at our phone or we can go there and see what, what's going on. So. Uh, really takes what we have now to the to the next level. So, yeah. Thank you very much. I was just sure. wow. public to understand how important these games are. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Mr. Swim. <clears throat> Item 15, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the Ohio School Board Association annual membership dues at the rate of $8,443. January 24 to December 24. Dues are based on our district's cost per pupil data from Ohio Department of Education. So moved. Second. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 16. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the following two MOUs as mentioned below. Second. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 17. <clears throat> we need to approve the selection of President Pro Tem for the January 2024 organizational meeting. I nominate Mr. Second. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Markham? Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. We need a motion for the next meeting to be uh, organizational meeting January 11th, Thursday, 3.45 p.m. organizational meeting, 4 o'clock work session, 5 o'clock work meeting. So moved. Second. <clears throat> Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Markham? Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Comments, please. Yes, sir. More comments? I do. I just want to tell everybody Merry Christmas and remember you're right to say Merry Christmas. It does not mean in the schools that you cannot say it. So feel free to say it and not. Uh, worry about repercussions or anything. So Merry Christmas, everybody. 
Uh, I, I would like to touch on what the superintendent said about our retirees. When you see a group of people retire that all have over 25 years of service to, to the one community, it's a, it's a huge testament to loyalty and what those people meant to our district. I wish them the best in their endeavors in their life. I thank you for the years you've served the, the Austin Town School District. Um, I was here this morning and uh, driving through the campus and walking around the campus. And I've got to give a shout out. I know Blaze won't like this very much, but I'll get to him in a second. Uh, I want to thank our maintenance staff for all the hard work they did, making sure that the snow was melted as best as they could. Um, our entire maintenance staff just did a great job. I can't commend them enough. Uh, and I guess I'll give a little bit of, of props to our treasurer for his fiscal responsibility. We do appreciate the hard work we do every day. And I guess I will thank our superintendent for all the hard work he does for our school, never letting up, and always staying on top of things. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I know it's easy to it, but I do, I do mean those things. Uh, and, and, and almost lastly, it's been two full years now I've sat at this table. And, and I gotta say, I, I'm privileged and honored. I get to come here every month. I get to be involved with the school district. I get to be involved with the employees, the students, the events, the community. Uh, I take it very serious, and I thank everybody uh, the, the respect that goes both ways, it, it does mean a lot. I, I just want to comment on that. And lastly, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Enjoy your Christmas break. Be ready to come back to the school uh, running in the new year. And uh, that's all I have. Thank you very much. Thanks, Fred. Thanks, Fred. I would just like to say this that December uh, being the last month of the year, we cannot help but make us think of what's to come. So, to all of you here and at home, I wish you and your families the best holiday season, and together we look forward to the challenges and opportunities of the new year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks, Kathy. Oh, I forgot, I guess. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, there's people in this room that will have their first Christmas with a uh, girl and family. There'll be people in this room that have their first Christmas without somebody. Uh, it's an emotional holiday for um, a lot of great reasons. So everybody uh, have a safe holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And I'd like to um, make a motion for that, for that emotional uh, um, We have to now go out to uh, like a motion to go back to executive session with no action taken. Um, but we have to kind of go back to the meeting a little while here for items A and E. If I can get a motion for that. Second. Mr. Markham? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. 